let's just get straight to the point in my pot i added some vegetable oil now i'm going to be sauteing my onions and i added some garlic i made this garlic paste myself i'm going to be dropping a recipe on how to um make your own garlic paste at home so i'm going to saute this for two minutes and then i'm frying my meat i'm using um shaki roundabouts beef and pomo yes the reason why i'm frying it is so that all the um flavor of the meats is infused into the um, vegetable oil because this is the vegetable oil i'm going to be using to make my buka stew so i allow this to fry for five minutes now i'm taking it out if you're just joining my channel for the first time don't forget to click the subscribe button and also click the notification button to get notified when i post a new video subscription is free is free guys so please click the button thank you very much so now i've succeeded in taking out all my fried protein now i'm adding my pepper mix the pepper mix um recipe is in the description so check it out to know what i use for my pepper mix and the ratio now i'm going to be adding some seasoning powder some thyme and all purpose seasoning and whatever seasoning that sits well with you just add it there and then i added some salt I'm going to be giving this a very good stir. I'm going to cover it up to cook for 25 minutes. You're going to cook it until you start seeing the oil floating, like the oil and the pepper mix are joined together and the oil starts floating just like this. You can see the oil is floating on top of the pepper mix. So I'm going to stir this in very well and then I'm going to be adding my um, meat broth very important we don't use plain water while cooking guys remember that so i'm going to mix this up and then i'm going to be putting back my protein my fried protein in bits and then i'm going to be adding my dried catfish from ogs foods ng she sells the best um processed foods in nigeria you should check her out i'm going to paste her link in the description so you can check her out so i'm going to stir this in at this point you can add in some um seasoning if you want to add and you know remove whatever <laughs> so i'm going to allow this to cook for extra 10 minutes allow all the flavors and ingredients to infuse and our buka stew is ready hope you like this let me know in the comment section later